I saw an IG post from my fellow Christian about how she and her husband burned their Pokemon card because of the accusation that the origins of Pokemon are demonic and you're like participating in witchcraft and it incorporates this the false worldview of Shintoism. Now if you're familiar with this channel I don't mind other people's convictions if people decide that they don't want anything to do with anime at all because of some reason that's fine this isn't a channel to try to convince you to watch anime or defending anime or whatever in some way if you don't want to watch it cool but this channel was created to take the themes that we see in anime and relate them to our everyday life in hopes to point people to the christian story what i do hate is when people pass off their convictions to be law and if you don't believe the same thing as them you're in grave error or something like that now i fully believe that you should not be mastered by anything and that your utmost allegiance and devotion should be towards Jesus. But what I can't stand is people talking about the origins of anime and are completely wrong on how something came about. Pokemon was created by a man named Satoshi Tajiri. Satoshi started a gaming magazine in 1982 called Game Freak and eventually started creating his own video games. And then in the early 1990s, being inspired from his own childhood hobby of collecting bugs and tadpoles in the forest, created Pocket Monsters, which then became the beloved Pokemon. This is why when you look at Pokemon, a lot of the Pokemon have bug-like features and things like that. This idea eventually goes on to sell millions of games, trading cards, and eventually a Pokemon series that follows Ash Ketchum that came out in 1997. The original name of Ash was Satoshi Tajiri, the creator of Pokemon. And it's crazy. That's like childhood nostalgia for real. But he journeys on a quest to become Pokemon master and catch them all. It's amazing how this show mimics the creator's desire and passion for bugs because as a profession he dreamed about as a kid he wanted to be an entomologist a person who studies bugs and his passion earned him the nickname dr bug from his friends ash has a dream and he works hard to achieve that dream which like a lot of our childhood anime heroes we admired because they emulated hard work and dedication to what they were doing and achieving a goal what i find wild about people who call pokemon demonic is that instead of going to the source and looking up why someone got inspiration from a creation they put whatever it is that fits to the conclusion to why something is demonic or whatever instead of us believing the best about human beings made in god's image even if they aren't christian that can display creativity and creating fictional worlds and characters and people and have amazing world building and features being inspired by the world around them without having some ulterior, mo ulterior motive except to share something they created with the world to enjoy but no us as christians we discount people that aren't like us who don't believe like us and instead of believing the best we believe the worst you think that watching this show or any other show for that matter is going to accidentally trip you up into occult worship and demon activity you think that having trading cards a pokemon inspired by someone's passion for bugs is going to bring about demon activity on you that's weird there are actual real demonic and witchcraft type things out there and we want to be triggered over pokemon that has no spiritual origins okay okay you you might be upset that there might be display of the largest religion in japan which is shintoism which a lot of the pokemon designs are inspired by got you i think this is why media literacy is important just because an artist creator is inspired by something doesn't 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 mean that they are trying to get you to worship that something for christian creatives this may be different but that's not an accusation for pokemon or most anime for that matter unless that creator says so or if that's exactly the intention that they want behind it this is like saying people that the, that people who read the chronicles of narnia lord of the rings or the harry potter series all made from christian authors have christian themes automatically or accidentally are worshiping jesus because they read a book by christian authors or this is like saying that a non-christian who occasionally listens to worship music or they listen to a christian hip-hop artist is automatically participating in worship and devotion of jesus it doesn't this is the case 
then most of our lives here in the West, we are accidentally participating in idol worship and deep demonic activity. Our days of the week are created after pagan gods. Our planets, the heavenly bodies that God created, all are named after Roman gods. Trident gum, named after the three-pronged spear associated with Poseidon and Neptune. Oh, word, you, you as a woman, you wear makeup, a Christian woman, you wear makeup, then you're participating in the Egyptian pagan worship and you believe that you're being protected from certain Egyptian gods that don't exist. The Olympics, which are happening in Paris this year, every athlete that's participating in the Olympics, including Christians, aren't training to be the best Olympic athlete in their sport in the world. They are actually worshiping the Greek god Zeus. And they're entertaining all of Mount Olympus, which is home to the Greek pantheon. You, you, probably, you, you probably get the idea now. It's silly to believe these things are having you participate in idol worship or demonic activity. Just like how someone watching or playing Pokemon isn't accidentally participating in Shintoism or demon activity. I'm not saying those people aren't out there. For, there's a religion of Goku out there right but and there's people that treat pokemon that way but a heck of a lot more people like pokemon for what it is pokemon <laughs> i think I, I think there's a bible passage that ties this all together first corinthians 8 4 to 13 this specific this passage is specifically talking about eating meat sacrificed to idols but i think what paul says about it applies to this situation of pokemon or any sort of anime for that matter therefore as to the eating of food offered to idols, we know that an idol has no real existence and that you, that you, there is no God but one. For although there may be so-called gods in heaven or on, or on earth, as indeed there are many gods and many lords, yet for us there is one God, the Father, from whom all things and for whom we exist, and none and one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom all things and through whom we exist. However, not all possess this knowledge, but some all do though form through former association with idols, eat food as really offered to an idol and their conscience being weak is defiled. Food will not commend us to God. We are no worse off if we do not eat and no better off if we do. But take care that this right of yours does not somehow become a stumbling block to those who are weak. For if anyone sees you who have, who have knowledge eating in an idol's temple, will he not be encouraged if his conscience is weak to eat food offered to idols? And so by your knowledge, this weak person is destroyed, the brother from whom Christ died. Thus, sinning against your brother and wounding their conscience when it is weak you sin against christ therefore if food makes your brother stumble i will never eat meat lest i make my brother stumble i love how paul talks about how these idols these pagan gods are nothing they have no real existence they have no real power i think we'd be better off if we thought that way about a bunch of different things but paul is instructing the corinthian church and telling them hey if you can eat meat that's been sacrificed and you are aware cool eat the meat because those idols don't exist and they have no power but if you have a brother who could very well be tempted to stumble and sin because of that meat don't entice that brother to eat meat love them don't provoke don't provoke them to sin this is the same with pokemon or anime for that matter pokemon and its creations have no power if you enjoy the game if you like playing it if you like the journey of ash ketchum being a pokemon master that lasted over 25 years years cool enjoy it but if someone around you has a sin issue with pokemon don't invite them to watch the latest episode don't entertain them with the conversation of the new pokemon game that just came out don't invite them to the global pokemon trading card championships love them well as they are pursuing sanctification in the lord jesus i hope that makes sense if you like this video let me know what you think comment below and let me know your thoughts all right cool